D. Rowe, you called it the Marlins no cakewalk, right? If Phils have struggled against them, and if Alcantara looks anywhere close to what Rogers looked like, they're in trouble. He's special. They got something brewing pretty special down there because I don't know if any other team, like you talk about aces, what is, what is an ace profile like? You can say a lot of guys, oh, he might be a one, eh, probably a two and a half. I'm with you. I, I like the terminology legitimate number one instead of ace because I think every team has an ace. He pitches opening day. Yep. He anchors it. But is he a legitimate number one in the baseball landscape? Yeah, and I think that's kind of the way I view it. I think you look last year, you saw Sixto Sanchez kind of come up, and we can dive into it because it just the stuff plays right to a number one. Let's go into the tape here, and we're going to pause it. When we come out, we're going to dive into Sixto out of the shoot. Yeah, no, run it. Go. I mean, he oh. came and burst on the scene with elite stuff, Co wanting to be the best, kind of moxie on the mound, so you know he's got the ability to be a frontline opening day starter, right? What does it look like? What does a game one starter of a postseason series look like? It looks like Sandy Alcantara. And I don't know if anyone was dialed in on the Phillies-Marlins game last night, but my left-hander right here, Mr. Trevor Rogers, he looks like a one-two, so pause this. <laughs> Go give me a clean frame. Oh, on yeah, I we're see going where Chuck you're Finley. going. Whenever I see a big donkey lefty, I always go to Chuck. <laughs> if he's not Randy Johnson, I go to Chuck Finley real quick. Early Chuck Finley when he was yeah. get into it. But watching him last night dominate, we talk about Corey Kluber kind of changing lanes. Mm -hmm. There's no change in lanes here. This is country hardball. Nobody dominates the game right now with a four seam heater the way Trevor Rogers does. He throws it 61.2% of the time. Guys hit 205 off it. He's got the most strikeouts on a four seam heater this year and the most outs in the majors on a four seam heater. So he is coming at you, but he's got a feel for a slider. He's kind of effectively wild. I'm going to take you through some Bryce Harper ABs. But, Billy, I know you face Chuck Finley. Let's run it, Lucas. Go. I mean, that's what he presents, right? What you see on the mound. When I watch video with Chuck Finley, yeah. he just looked long and lanky and confusing, and everything morphs into one pitch. Pause it. What do you got on Chuck Finley? Well, I, tell you I, what, I got you face. Chuck I is big, believe. and it's a firm four-seam fastball. It was a hard split, and it was a short slider. Yeah. And I was going to third person Ricky in there when he swung. He goes, Ricky don't like this. I mean, that <laughs> slider down and in was real. So there was a three-pitch mix out of Chuck, and everything was, like, coming at you like you like you just thought. Yeah. And it's here it is. It's firm. Which one are you going to do? Because even his split was firm, too. We didn't have this big separation miles per hour wise, but it definitely had finish on it. And that hard slider, good four seam fastball. And I, I, I was saying to myself, I know Rodgers was up in 2020. He can't have that big a history with Bryce Harper. But newsflash for the next 15 years, Bryce is going to, this could be his <laughs> toughest matchup in the National League. I want to go through these ABs, Billy. He, Bryce almost has no chance, and I'm going to show you why. Right there. Okay, back that up real quick, one time for me. When you have the ability, now remember, my man just got hit in the face in St. Louis. So when you can have a little arm side run on your heater where I don't necessarily know, like when I faced Kerry Wood, I didn't know if it was going to be black away or in my jugular. <laughs> so I couldn't pot commit on really anything. And I feel like Mr. Rogers run this. I mean, I'm trying to throw heater in right there, but ooh. Let me, let me buckle the knee. Now I'm going to go slider. I'm going to miss that. Oy. And that's a strike. Now I'm going 96. Where are you going now? Right down the middle, 96. You're swinging through it. Bryce Harper has to do so many things. Run that back. 2-2 two, two slider. Pause this. You have to do so many things right as a left-handed hitter to have the audacity to A, stay in there, stick your nose in there and stay in there, and B, decipher between 96 and it's slide ball and away, I have to potentially give him one port part of the plate because I can't cover it all, and I got to think up the middle the other way or I'm never going to hit the, I mean, it's just too much to compute with this big donkey, so run this pitch. 
I mean. And, and freeze that a minute because oh. let, let's define. Oh. When you say big donkey, you big mean. Big donkey, 6'5", 220. But you mean there. every bit in the nicest way that you're directing to Oh, yeah, dude. he reminds me of Bumgarner on the mound. There we go. And, and look, I, I just want to show you something. We don't need to get back to any video or not. This right here, miss, lefty on lefty, that's not up here. Yeah. So pitching in. All the thought process and we can't pitch in anymore, or there are too many people getting rushed. This is one of the most effective misses you can have, especially if it's 0-2 count. Like if he throws a ball in here, six inches off the plate, yep. not eight, not 10, six. And, and there's any thought process in the left-hand hitter's head going, man, he, he almost had me there. Yeah. Now it opens up every pitch moving forward. So it, this is not the pitching in that even us old schoolers talked about. This down in here, just missing in with a fastball, can be very effective because it opens everything else up. I agree. Run his next A.B. because I almost feel like Bryce has got to pick a pitch and go in his future career against this guy because, I mean, that slider is filthy. That backed up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, did. Then he just rifles 95 right by him at the top of the zone. He battles 94, and he's going to get the slider again at some point. Oh, my God. I mean, I don't know so, what you do, Bryce. That's your worst nightmare for the National <laughs> League East, him and Max Freed. But Miami, Jazz Chisholm comes into his – they get some position players with Mr. J.J. Blade and some of the younger cats they got going. The pitching staff is going to be electric, kind of allowing the young guys to cut their teeth now with the kind of the crafty veterans that Kim Nang's brought in. But I think when the, the position player. Big donkey. Oh. Ultimate compliment.